Hey guys, my name is Ruana Stumpf. I'm the Permits Unit Chief for IDOT District 8 in the Bureau of Operations. Today, this is our video for the submittal for a productivity best practice idea. And this is to give you a snapshot into the issues we deal with daily within the Bureau of Operations when we're looking for owed permits. Year. Hey Jacob. Yes. Studies and plans called and they want to find out if an entrance on 162 West of Forest Drive had a permit. Could you please look at that for me and see if you can find out any old permits in that area? Sure thing. Yeah, give us a few minutes and we'll okay. look it up. Sounds good. All right, thanks. Okay. All right, let's look into this. So here's Forest Drive and 162. She said it was west of here. Um, so this is the right location. Uh, let's go into our database. And we'll do a search for, we're in Madison County. Hey, Deshaun. Hey, Nate. I'm looking for an uh, entrance on 108. You think you can help me with the microphone? Uh, yeah, I'll look it up. See okay. what I can find. I think the section's 102. As you can see, the process to find permit data can be quite lengthy. When we issue permits, they are issued to the legal property owner of record. And many times, people don't keep their property forever. We also track them by the stationing on the highway. And since we tend not to use the same stationing on each project, that can become difficult also. A solution to this is to collect GPS coordinates on our entrances. We collect that data in the field, we come back and then put it into our database, and then that data can be uploaded to the ArcGIS maps. This will make it easier for all the different bureaus within IDOT to obtain data on permitted entrances, on culverts, and um, when those entrances were issued. Those types of things are useful in developing plans. They answer construction questions. They answer maintenance questions. All right. Measuring tool. There. There's an entrance about a mile there. See what that one is. Yep, there's a 15 inch by 30 foot culvert there. 24 foot entrance. Okay. <laughs> okay, go. Hey, Marana, you got something? Okay, what'd you find, Jacob? So, I uh, found this area west of. Forest Drive, a couple of permits here. Um, this one is for the uh, this new subdivision that went in. Um, is this the right area? Yes, that's it. Okay. All right. And so what was the permit number and when was it constructed? This is permit number 8-31625 and it was built in 2016. Um, commercial entrance for a subdivision. All right. Thank you. That was much easier. All right. Thank you. As you can see, obtaining GPS coordinates and mapping our entrance permits is beneficial to not only the Bureau of Operations, but to also the other bureaus within IDOT. Um, eventually, our goal is to have this available to other entities to answer questions as they arise out in the field, whether it's a construction project, developing a set of plans, answering a maintenance yard question, or property owner question.